Uh, I think start is where we were. Okay. Oh, I just noticed that the spell I have turned on is IBM. Uh, so, but the spell I need is, I think, this. Uh, not a spell. Yeah, I know. How do I clear this out? Ah. I think there's a brightness spell. One of the things that I thought I could do is you see the user interface here most of it you guys don't really need to see so one of the things I could do is well I'll show you see if you like this better if I zoom in this way you guys don't get to see the rest of the interface but the game is gonna be better and I could well better it's uh, kind of open to interpretation see what you guys think so now I'm waiting for like 25 seconds for the so should we play it this way what's the vote on that so what you guys are gonna miss is is not that much basically you don't get to see my my panel with all my armor and stuff but it's really not that much to see and if anything shows up on the screen where I have to read yeah okay I'll do it that way then yeah, it actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? Uh, the one problem I think we're going to have is this is the map, and you're, you're missing a big chunk of the map when we do this way, and I'm not going to keep stretching it and stuff, but the map really is mostly for me, so I think we're good. And uh, let's see, I'm going to just tune it one more little bit. Just so those snakes aren't kind of sticking out on the corners. And the mouse is screwing up again. There we go. Sorry, whenever I tab out, there's a risk that the mouse is going to go wacky. Not much I can do. So, there. Okay. Yeah, it's doing it again. Sorry. Still going wacky. There. Okay. No, nope, still going wacky. Come on, mouse. Okay, good. We're alive. All right. So, uh, let's see. It's quarter after eight. We'll play this at least for half an hour That it, now that I took so long to get it all set up. And where am I? I don't think you guys can see where I am. I did a lot of swimming. Well, you can see the river there. I obviously did a lot of swimming. And... I think we're in a good spot. I think we're right by the Green Goblin area. Or, actually, I think I'm right inside the Green Goblins, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you guys saw this at the last episode. So, basically what's going on here is we found this, this Green Goblin, and these are the good guys. So these aren't enemies. And you again, what you want now? I wish to pass through this portcullis. Okay, but you be careful. Green Goblin's not like messing with. Okay, so we're going to head on in here. Now, I don't remember my way around. Apparently we're supposed to find the king in here. The Goblin King, not like the real king. And he's supposed to be a good guy if we find him. Now, we know this because of the beginning of the game. Oh have here. Ooh, ultra high res 3D rendered fong lighting, fong shaded uh, fountain. It's like you're there. Chips challenge? No, nope, don't recognize that. Okay, so well, this room is not that exciting. It just kind of goes around. Hmm. Well, our other option, obviously the king's not in the fountain room. Well, or the toilet for all I know. I don't know what that place is, but... But there is a ramp. So let's see where this ramp goes. And apparently, I don't know if that is paved in gold? I don't think so. I think that's supposed to be dirt. 
Ah, we have a door. And the door is unlocked. And free ski, no, I haven't heard of that one either. Let's see, so bed rolls, what they do is if you go into your inventory and right click on it, it lets you sleep. And I don't think there's any sort of time limit in this game. Hello, you gonna talk to me? Hey, you not goblin? Why are you here? Well, okay, so we found a smart one. He's figured out I'm not a goblin. Can't sell. Tell me of the goblins. Where is thy leader? I wish to trade with thee. I must be on my way. Can't thou tell me of the goblins? Green goblins, yes, good. We are strongest and bravest in the abyss. Grey goblins, they nasty and weak. You no want to talk to them. Also, watch out for some mean goblins. Not like our set settlement. They wear red. Good goblins near banners with funny marks, like me. So he's, the funny marks he's talking about, there's banners hanging all over the place with an Ankh symbol on them. Where is thy leader? Where is thy lederhosen? Ya, yeah, Vernix. Ya, yeah, Variax. He king. Maybe you want to talk to bodyguard Lanugo first. They in northwest at end of high overhang path. Okay, so let me look at the map. Oh, I have to finish talking to him first. Perhaps we can exchange some goods. Okay, so I'm allowed to trade with this guy. And basically you select which items you want to take from him and then you put items here and make an offer. And it's a barter arrangement. There's really no indication of how much this stuff is worth. And you just kind of have to approach the price. Uh, I do not wish to barter any further. Farewell. And you can also demand that he gives you the items, but that usually doesn't go very well. Okay, reading the chat now, taking a break. Um, have you ever played Dungeons & Dragons? If yes, comp or board game. Well, I played a couple of Dungeons & Dragons-like games. Um, basically, the city that I live in is um, where they wrote Baldur's Gate. So... I haven't played uh, pen and paper Dungeons and Dragons. Given this predates Ars Classic by almost a decade co-op, it's quite possible if they use some of these assets, yes, both computer games and blah, blah. So, hey Fishman, welcome back. To be honest, I didn't notice you leave. Um, You wish you don't... Well, Bleen is saying he wants to see the whole GUI. Uh, I think you're kind of outvoted. The The rest of the GUI it really doesn't add a whole lot. I mean, we could show it, but um, it's pretty static. So given the resolution, this, this zoomed-in version seemed to be the preference. Uh, I'll pose the question again, though. Um, leave it this way or switch to the full GUI. Now, let's see what the sign says. The sign reads, keep out. Okay, well, these are the friendly guys, so I'll do just that. The GUI is static. Basically, the, the stuff around the screen, so like the icons and your inventory, the only real purpose for it was to use up screen real estate because they couldn't draw fast enough to fill the whole screen basically. So Bling wants me to switch to showing the whole screen instead of just the graphics window. And uh, Ginger Giant says just this piece. So and this piece is kind of my preference as well. I mean, the only other thing you get to see is the full map, if I look at the map, and uh, what is this? Is this a toilet? And maybe you get to see the the compass and that sort of thing, but otherwise really nothing is happening on the interface. Okay, I'm kind of lost. So this is the one piece that you're kind of missing out on. You don't get to see where I am. Um, so they said the north... Did they say northeast or northwest? It looks like we've we've visited most of the area, and we have not found the king. 
so, oh. I don't think we've been through here. This looks promising. This is to the northeast, so I'm kind of going in the wrong direction. I think I, that's the path I came from. Yeah, this was actually way before Doom, though. Way before. This was 1992 they wrote this game. Oh, I think we're getting close to the king now. Yeah, I think he's the king, or who's this? This is Lanugo. This is the guard. Uh, they be not bothering the boss, aye? Why dost thou not ask him thyself? Yeah, well, I could do that, but the boss don't like being bothered with, like, practical stuff. His mind on, uh, higher things. Perhaps I could give thee a small gift to show my appreciation. I see no gift. Ah, here, okay, so I gotta give, decide what I want to give him. Um, I don't know what I would give him as a gift. Don't want to give out any runes. I could give him a fish, I suppose. Don't you have any gold or something? Okay, well. Uh, I do have some gold or something. Don't want to give him my gem. I got five gold. I hope he doesn't want lots of gold. I'll give him all my gold. Thanks. That right enough for a human. Tell the what, if thou talks to the boss, be real like complimentary. He likes that. I will take that under advisement. Sure, taking. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> it just choking to death, don't mind me. Sure, ting. Hey, gotta go. Time for me to start dinner. Uh, you wanna stay? Swarm stew tonight, me specialty. Worm stew. Aye, me mother used to make it. Uh, you take a rot worm, chop it up fine, marinate it with mushrooms. Here, it's written down on this. Okay, so I got a recipe to worm stew. Aye, I thank thee kindly. And of course you give away nothing that is given to you, so... And I'm, in a moment, I'm just going to start reading. I believe this be the king. Yes, this is Vernix, or Variax. Greetings, Goblin Lord. All hail the most mighty and puissant uh, ruler of the great and noble race of the Green Goblins. Fair greetings to thee. For what reason hast thou intruded on our court? I have quested long to drink from the fountain of thy wisdom, O pearl among kings. True, I am rather wise, come to think of it. What's, what dost thou wish to know? Who is Sir Cabarus? What are these talismans of which I hear? Tell me of the races of the abyss. How came by you of that gorgeous cloak? Well, I'll start at the top. Who is Sir Cabarus? Thou art entirely too general with generous with thy time. Okay. Um, I do most humbly crave thy pardon. Uh, well, perhaps thou canst be forgiven. This place is full of the most frightfully rude people. Uh, thou may remain. What is it thy need? I merely to partake in, partake in some small manner of thy vast knowledge. True, I am rather wise. Okay. So, let's see, I think I'm going to try this last one. It seems kind of a strange question. Yes, I did just say Variax. How came you by that gorgeous cloak? Ah, okay, so this is something to read. Let me read the chat for a while, though. So, people complaining about my glorious orcish English. Uh, yes, it is Germanic. Um... <laughs> English reminds me of texting on the phone, except it's far more literate. Um, this reading is so boring. Oh well, life goes on. Um, you know he is an LPR. Yes, of course I know he's an LPR. 
Um, hi, Nightblade. I am Bark. Nice to treat you. Okay. It does suit me, doesn't it? I had it made especially for me. One simply doesn't find work like this underground. Well, perhaps the mountain folk do make a few nice things, but they tend towards metals rather than clothes. And, of course, the seers, the ancient illuminated seers of the moonstone, they call themselves, they do nice work too. But they... I've lost my... Way. But they generally tend more towards the literary than the sartorial arts. And this hall, it is most beautiful. Well, one does what one can. Of course, those awful grey goblins took all the really nice things with them when they stole away in the night. This was the this was just after Sir Cabarrus died, you know, when things were falling apart, and we've had to make do since then. One of these days I'm going to get some poison to catch Val or his ugly wife, which amounts to the same thing. He's terribly He's terribly... where did it go? He's terribly... Henpecked, you know. And then we'll see what's what. King of the Great Goblins, indeed. Why, he's an upstart. His father was a horse thief. But enough of this. You wanted to know something? How can I help you? Um... Well, really, I, I don't really... What are these talismans of which I hear? I've changed my mind about them. There's a ruffian. Get thee hence. I do most humbly crave thy pardon. Um, vast knowledge. Tell me of the races of the abyss. Okay, most crave thy pardon. I think we're done. Um... So let's skip past this gorgeous cloak nonsense. And this hall is quite beautiful. It is very kind of thee to help take the time to help me, your majesty. Oh, mention it not. It is so sem seldom... <clears throat> it is so seldom that I get a chance to speak to a really intelligent person. I mean, our allies, the Lizardmen, are nice enough, but the poor fellows can't speak a word of the common tongue. They understand it well enough, but the poor things don't have the mouth to speak. And their language is so difficult. I know Seth and Click mean yes and no. Oh, actually, if you really want to play this game, you got to write this crap down. Because you're going to have to speak to some Lizardmen or something later. And actually, it doesn't help you. So you've got to learn the language. So that's that's one of the things with older games. Boy, they sure didn't spoon feed you anything. So yes, I am indeed writing it down because I'm playing this for myself at the same time. So uh, yes and no. La la, says and click me yes. And no. But I don't know which is which. Oh, wonderful. How could that possibly turn bad? Not knowing the difference between yes and no. Then there are the Knights of the Crooks and Sata. They can talk well enough, but all they ever say is how many trolls they've killed. Frightful bore, even when it does help keep the pest population down, and both kinds of pests, knights and trolls, you know. Uh, let's see... Let's, let me just read the chat. Oh, it looks like I've missed some chat. Some of it scrolled off the screen. Sorry about that. Ever play Warhammer? Nope, nope. 40k or fantasy? No, let's see. Um, never played them. I like the books. Could never afford them. Either or. Da da da. Preferred. And uh, he never gets what he wants. So, anyway, I'll just check in with you guys. I've been staring at the screen reading this stuff. Do I continue this? Let's see, we've been going for about, uh, what, 15 minutes? So I'll just check with you guys. Um, I'm willing to play this for about another 15 minutes. Or we could do the same thing again. We could find something else for the last half hour. I think I'm going to stop it after about a 15 minutes. 
So I no, I don't know what no means when I've asked so many questions. So Fishman wants to continue. Co-op wants to do something. Co-op wants a new game. Well, he's just bored of the reading. Um, yeah, reading is tough. Yeah, crack a book once in a while, co-op. Yeah, just kidding. Um, but you're not reading co-op. You're listening. And... <laughs> Yeah, Ginger Giant just says yes, just to bug co-op. Uh, keep playing. So I think we've got two people keep playing, and uh, Ginger Giant is uh, voting yes, just to bug co-op. And let's see, the Knights, I'm going to continue playing, I'm afraid, for at least ten more minutes. So, it must be a trial, even for one as noble as yourself. Oh, indeed it is. Sometimes I wonder how I ever manage. It wasn't always like this, you know. When Sir Cabarrus was alive, things were ever so much better. We had all of us working together so well. A born leader was that man. When he founded this colony, you could have wage... You could have made a wager anywhere in Britannia that it wouldn't work. But he still made it so... I still think one of those bastard Gray must have done him in. There were certain items, too. Well, I suppose it will do no harm to tell thee. Sir Cabras collected eight great talismans, each embodying a certain virtue. He was a great one for virtue, was our Cabras. And it was well known that he intended them to come to the leaders of the various groups here in the Abyss. Well, we never saw them. If they still exist, they must be lost. But I must be boring thee. Well, we're certainly boring co-op. Well, actually, yes, you are boring me. No, not at all. I could listen forever, Your Majesty, but I've taken enough of thy time. Well, bless you, you're such a charming conversationalist. Please do visit again. So there we are, we're done reading. Galagos, let's see, anyone read the Orc series? I can't say I have. Um, need more Daka? Hmm, I don't know that reference. Uh, let's see. Actually, if you want to re read a really good, well, in my opinion, a really good set of books, um, The Well of Souls, what is that? A mandolin? Ah, oh, that reminded me of a joke from Family Guy. What was it? This is my this is my boyfriend. He speaks Mandolin. Uh that's Mandarin, honey. Oh No, what was it? Uh, I can't remember. It was Ah uh, This is my boyfriend, he speaks lots of languages. He speaks orange. That's Mandarin, honey. Mandolin! There, I think I got it right. Okay, so I think we're done here. We did find the king, and that's the room we were down in there, so I think we can pretty much leave this area now. And one of the things I should do is save the game. And as I do this, the other thing I will do is read the chat again. So Daka is an orcish term for firepower, okay. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, if you want to read a really good set of books. I think there's like 16 of them though, but uh, Well of Soul series I really enjoyed. My favorite series of all time was just three books though. Well, kind of four or five depending on how you count, but the robot novels. Caves of Steel, The Naked Sun, Robots of Dawn, Robots and Empire. Absolutely love those books. Uh, I don't know where I am now. Okay, I do know where I am. So for those of you that watched my previous um, Ultima Underworld... Ah! Run away! Why am I not running backwards? That was weird. Bloodworm! Kill! Maim! Destroy! There we go. 
didn't I pick that up? Because I think that's what I need for soup. No, no, well, not with my sword out. No, it's just a blood stain now. Pile of debris, piece of wood, skull. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. A man of infinite jest and wisdom. So, those of I think I loaded up my previous Ultima Underworld video onto YouTube, and we're near the bridge where I turned around, if that means anything to anybody. So this is the bridge where I fought my first ever goblin. And we're on the other side of that bridge now. And the way we got there is, I think really the way I was supposed to play this game was come across the bridge and go and visit the goblins over here. You can't really see it. That's where we just were. But I actually, I actually swam along this way and came in the back door, basically. So we're now entering areas I've never visited. The, there's the bridge and there's the remains of the goblin I killed right near the start of the game, so... Let's see, tell me the only thing... Trying to follow chat, but it's a little hard. Um, that's what she said. Nah, that was lame. Where are we? I think this is... I think I've been here. I think this is where I came in. No, 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 we're on the other side of the river now. And that's me right there, right on the edge of the screen. And I don't want to get too close to the water, because I think if I fall in... So, I think this was at the end of the previous video I swam past an octopus and I ended up on this platform so I think I kinda know where I am now but I don't know what's down here mm, a new door that's always good lots of new doors ah rat I'm doomed doomed I tell you okay not doomed Oh, and that's open. Why is that open? Where are we? Okay, he doesn't look friendly, but he's not attacking. Okay, no, oh, the attack music. Oh, he's wearing red? Does that mean... Is that the red they were talking about? He's wearing, like... Why is that not hitting him? Cap was damaged, wooden shield was damaged. This guy is kind of winning. Am I about to die? I should have saved the game. Oh, I got him, I got him. I have no idea how hard this guy is to kill, of course. Uh oh, that's not good. I think we've reached a point where I can end the game because <laughs> I'm definitely not going to survive two of these guys. Sorry, you're outvoted uh, co-op. I realize you don't like the game, but... Yeah, enough co-op. Seriously. Oh, there's some stuff here, though, that's probably worth... Oh, and he's throwing rocks at me. I'm going to run for it. Oh. That's why this is to so tough. I think we've entered their prison. Get out of the way. I'm trying to flee. Let me flee. Oh, that's not good. I hope they don't chase you very far. Oh, now I got a rat. Yep, 
Yeah, I agree, Ginger Giant. Tactical flea. He bravely turned his tail and fled. And it looks like they're not bright enough to follow me either. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Oh, another rat, another rat, I see you. Die, rat, die! Oh, this must be like King Rat. And I'm still getting hit. Yes, I am! Uh, let's flee while I. Didn't help. I'm a little low on health, just a touch. Save game. Three. Oh, he's still after me. I think about one more hit and I'm toast. I vanquished him! Whew. Okay, so there we go, and it is now quarter to nine, and I said I was going to play this for 30 minutes, and we have. So I'm just going to save this, and I'm going to take a look at the map to see how we've done. But I'm going to tab out of here, and zoom in on the map, so you guys can see it. My mouse will be friendly. So there we go. So what we did this level was basically this entire section. We swam along here. This is where I ended the last game. Walked in through here. This is where I started the video. And all in this, the king was up here. Did all this area. Did some of this and ended up in the wrong prison. That was the prison bars that we spotted and then I, I ran and now I'm in, it looks like just the worst possible place. So I'm gonna figure out how to increase my health. And the other thing I'm gonna say is in the last video, I was, I leveled up but I couldn't figure out how to level up. So that doesn't make sense. I, I basically, I got a new level. It told me you have now gained level two, but I have no experience points or anything so I don't know how to level up. I found out how. Basically you have to find a temple and pray and when you're praying it asks you what where you want to put your skill points. So that's how you level up. So there's another thing with an old game. You don't get a free level up. You gotta go find a place to pray. And that's it for this game for today. So I can't remember. I'm just gonna save one more time. So we need to find a temple. And let's see, I think I think I'm about wrapped up for the day. It's 10 to 9. I've been doing this since, uh, what, 7? So 2 hours. And I got 10 viewers. I think that's a new record. So everybody say hi again. And if you have a YouTube channel, go ahead and put your YouTube ID up on the screen for a little free advertising if you want. I'll read them off. Well, everybody can see chat, so... I'd be, be interested in seeing what all your channels are. So I can go and take a peek or see if I recognize you from your YouTube name. And uh, don't forget to stop by and say hi on my channel either. So we got Fishman, we've got Ginger Giant who was here from the beginning, and of course Co-op, and Kalsmere. Uh, is that the first time you've said anything, Kalsmir? I, I haven't seen you in the chat, so uh, if you have any questions, go ahead. I can chat for a while. And we got Nightblade and Bleen. May have repeated some of these. Mr. Galagoth. All right, I think I do recognize Galagoth. And I don't know if I recognize it from YouTube or something else. Do we all have to say hi? No, you don't really have to say hi, but you kind of have already. Yo Haku. So, welcome. Glad you came by to watch. 
I was just curious who everybody was. I can, I suppose, I can figure out how to um, maybe change. Maybe I've got an option to see all the usernames. Oh, that's right, uh, Mr. Galagoth, and I think I am available. I have a change. I'm. Well, our hardware support guys are upgrading a database that I support, so I have to make sure the application runs afterwards. But I think that's Saturday night, Sunday morning. So I should be available. And I'm looking forward to it. Man, that was a blast. Were you in the other one, um, Galagoth? I can't remember if you were... We had like five people there, and I don't, I'm don't. i terrible for names. And... Hey, uh, is it Calmseer? Calmseer. Okay, boy. It takes me a while. Sorry. Um, ah, there we go. I found out how to see everybody's name. So I'll just read these out. Bleen, Co-op, Fishman, Frack. Oh, that's me. Or somebody m very like me. Uh, Galagoth, Ginger Giant, Kisor, Nightblade, and Yohaku. And yes, Co-op was first in the tube, in the chat. Okay, so y you were in one of the episodes of ME1. I didn't watch the whole thing. Um, and I think I'm going to go back and watch it all. We had so much fun in the last episode. It was a blast. Um, I think Squeeze said it was going to take us like an hour, maybe two, and I think we ended up going at it for five hours. So if you're in ME2 with friends, uh, Galagoff, uh, book extra time and <laughs> maybe wear a diaper because it's uh, it was a long one last time. So I, I'm going to wrap this up unless there's anything else. So if you have a question, uh, anything, um, chat. and Oh, thanks, Galagoth. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I think I will export some of these and put them on YouTube. Uh, I lost a bunch of videos from um, live stream, and I have no idea why. And that kind of upset me. Luckily, they were just kind of my first three or four streams, so... It's not that big of a deal. When's the next stream? Uh, so you can plan it? I don't plan them. Um, if, if I do a stream, it's in the evenings, mountain time, so about this time. And I've been doing them quite often. So you know, in a couple of days, and if I decide ahead of time, I will post a note, a bulletin, but I generally just decide a few minutes before I start streaming. And I'm trying to balance it because I want to do my Let's Plays as well. I'm doing a Let's Play for Neighbors from Hell, and I want to post those. I'm trying to post them daily, but with doing the live stream, I'm only posting them once every three days or so, and I kind of don't want to do that, so we will see. Anyway, so yeah, we're wrapping it up. I appreciate the, the compliments. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I enjoyed it, too. So I think I, next time I do a stream, I'm just going to wing it like this and kind of show my list of games and let people choose. That was fun. So, as always, I thank you for watching, and I thank you for listening. I encourage you to leave comments, suggestions, or infantile abuse on my YouTube channel, I guess. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel or give me the thumbs up. And yes, you still think Woody's a dick. Yes, he he kind of is Woody Dick, yes. So, cheers guys. That's it for me. We'll see you next time.